a U.S. aircraft carrier and other warships did not sail towards North Korea, but went in the opposite direction, it has emerged. The U.S. Navy said on 8 April that the Carl Vinson strike group was traveling to the Korean Peninsula amid tensions over Pyongyang's nuclear ambitions. Last week President Trump said an armada was being sent. But the group was actually farther away over the weekend, moving through the Sunda Strait into the Indian Ocean. The U.S. military's Pacific Command said on Tuesday that it had canceled a port visit to Perth, but had completed previously scheduled training with Australia off its northwest coast after departing Singapore on 8 April. The strike group was now proceeding to the Western Pacific as ordered. It is not clear whether the failure to arrive was a deliberate deception, perhaps designed to frighten North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un, a change of plan or simple miscommunication, the BBC South Korea correspondent Stephen Evans says. Either way, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence was undeterred as he spoke aboard the USS Ronald Reagan, an aircraft carrier docked in Japan, during his tour of the region vowing to defeat any attack and meet any use of conventional or nuclear weapons with an overwhelming and effective American response. North Korea and the U.S. have ratcheted up tensions in recent weeks and the movement of the strike group had raised the question of a preemptive strike by the U.S. On Wednesday, Mr. Pence described the country as the most dangerous and urgent threat to peace and security in the Asia-Pacific. His words came after the North held a show of military might in a parade over the weekend and tested another missile on Sunday, which blew up almost immediately after launch, the Pentagon said. The U.S. also accused North Korea of trying to provoke something, with U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis calling the test a reckless move on Tuesday. He said the U.S. was working closely with China to engage North Korea. Pyongyang said it may test missiles on a weekly basis, and warned of all-out war if the U.S. takes military action. If the U.S. is planning a military attack against us, we will react with a nuclear preemptive strike by our own style and method, Vice Foreign Minister Han Song told on Monday.